does, but he does yeah. main Mario with a secondary Rosalina Luma. Very strong. I always Mario see him talking about those characters on Twitter. It's like yeah. my entire Twitter feed is Dark Wizard. Yeah, I, I muted him. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he tweets too much. I'm like, hello. He definitely gets that a lot too. Of course, Koga going to be the CT Lucina main. I don't know what he got on the PR this season, but he, yeah, I know he's top 10. Yeah, I think he stayed 10th. I don't know. I think he's 9, if I'm going to throw something out there. No, because 10 is like Aerial Ace or something like 15th that. 15th is Aerial That's 50, Ace. Yeah. You know how we got on the PR? I don't. Uh, he plays Pit, and he beat Light when Light was playing Roy a few times. Oh, really? That's what I was told. But I was going to say, I feel like maybe... Kuma should have been on there instead of. I don't know, dude. But poor Kuma, he, he like barely ever makes PR, but he's pretty good. Yeah. All right, getting into game one. Surprisingly, starting on FD instead of Smashville. Uh, most foxes apparently don't like Smashville. I don't know if Light's on that train of foxes. Light being well, uh, the second. Maybe just doesn't like dying super early. True. Light being number two in New England, number one in CT. Mm -hmm. uh, arguably best fox on the East Coast. I would honest. say he's the best fox in the East Coast. Oh, who's but this competition? I forget. Like ZD. Yeah, ZD. I think it's it's it between them two. Yep. I would say that's just for second best fox, but maybe that's... Yeah. Well, Shootone's pretty good. I'm sorry, not Shootone. Shogun. Yeah, he is. Right, gonna get an early up B kill. Most floaties get destroyed by Meta Knight, but Meta Knight, supposedly, according to Paguas, does really good against Marcina. Oh, the more you know. He says it's almost, if not the worst matchup. Meta but I don't, I don't see it. <laughs> I wonder what Meta Knights is played against. I was just gonna say uh, Kool-Aid doing a good job at uh, staying at a low percent, but that's because he died. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Looking like Light's gonna be the stock tank of the team here, barely getting hit. Pretty even game. Yeah, they definitely just been trading blows, and uh, that was good ledge coverage there. True, true. We're gonna follow the formula. Light should be losing that stock very soon. That's a good attempt from Muzi. I thought he has deed. Cooley actually has been doing really well recently at his recent showing at CEO. He beat Javi. Yeah, that was very cool. Took a game from uh, Rido the duck card, but that was really good from Koga. Koga seems to be getting a lot of dancing blades off of commitments from the green team. They'll like hit Wizzy or like whiff an attack and he'll just dancing blade. And I don't think Dancing Blade's that amazing in doubles. It leaves you pretty open, and you're committed to like four attacks in a row. Yeah. When you could just jab, follow up, and then keep mobile. Yeah, see, oh Dancing boy. Blade 1 is a good breakup move for like a grab like that. It's a straight even mm. game. Lucina with Rage F Smash is absolutely broken. Like, no, yeah, they're, they're at kill percent near that. the edge, but. Koko dropping that second stock, being the first one to be on his last stock. Definitely not where you want to be, especially against players like Kool-Aid and Light. And Fox and Meta Knight, they kill like absurdly early if you if you fall for any of their tricks. Yeah, exactly. As I was just thinking, like you get hit by an up tilt or an up air, and then Meta Knight will just take the kills from there. And yeah. Very early. I saw them, them attempt it, but not get it off. Kool-Aid going to down be the safety. Wizzy not going to be able to punish with that up smash. They're still staying very even. I like this. Was he going to make it ba safely back onto stage? Nice little footstool combo there from Green Team. Like I said, that Dancing Blade is doing Koga, Koga so much justice. And now Green Team both on their last stocks. And wow, the that dash is attack. The Jank worst is gonna, feeling in the world. Yeah, I hate when that happens. Ooh, tried to probably jank him out. Yeah. It's definitely not impossible. If you could just get an F smash on Mario, or like a Star K on Mario, and then. Got like a dash stack up air string on Lucina. Very nice wall jump to up B. Mm. See how they cover the edge here. All right, yeah, down throw forward here. Gonna go ahead and take care of that. It looked very even up until like the last minute stretch. Yep. They just started dominating. I don't think Kool-Aid and Light are doing a very good job at like playing together. And to be fair, neither is Wizzy and Koga. They're just playing their own games, yep. taking the the two v ones. I don't think Fox? I don't I don't see double Fox working. I just don't. I I could understand if uh, Kool Aid wanted to go die even earlier. Yeah, right. They need like a heavyweight to keep him uh, from getting janked. And as I say, that he picks one of the lightest characters in the game. <laughs> well, it's might. 
yeah, be better for him because yeah. Kool-Aid usually stays back when he yeah. plays Sheik in doubles, whereas Meta Knight, he, he wasn't. They were just kind of jumbled. They both just, <laughs> that was so anime. They like ran past each other and grabbed their partners. Also, Kool-Aid definitely has a comfort zone with Sheik. Yes. Titling uh, best Sheik in New England. Uh, getting comboed here by Wizzy. Light gonna miss his uh, punish on the left side. Of the Ooh, stage. that's such a smart upbeat from Koga. Smart but risky. If it didn't work, he was getting a hard punish. Green team taking a very early uh, mass percent here, both exceeding 200 together, and uh, blue team hasn't even touched like the 80 mark. Koga hasn't even passed 20. Uh, was he kind of sleeping over there? He did have an up smash that he could have just went for, because a good uh, the good pass from Koga. Oh, going a little above the ledge there, gonna eat that F smash. F smash is nasty. I mean, you talked about Kool-Aid like, uh, playing more reserved, but it seems to be going in more, yeah, more often I, than not. Yeah, that's interesting. It's not usually what I see yeah. from him. Yeah, you're 100% right, though. I, I do notice that, too. I just think Light is usually the aggressor, but he's been getting stuffed more often than not. Yeah. So Kool-Aid decided to be aggressor. And that needle definitely saved Light's life. That was a nice back there coming in from Light, though. Koga doing a really good job at uh, catching Kool-Aid dropping shields. Catching Koga mash up the green team starting to find their footing. They, um, despite Light being at 100%, I do see him carrying the stock a lot farther with the momentum they have right now. That was smart of Light. They, he just ran forward, just put on the pressure of 2v1 and Dark Wizzy, but then went back to fight Koga on the ledge. So he wouldn't get too comfortable in closing the gap between the two. Kool-Aid also just dropped a potential team combo with Light there. He decided to F throw and probably go for a bouncing fish instead of back throwing to uh, Light's up air, or any move he decides. That was smart there, choosing to pummel. Mm -hmm. Especially because Fox is at kill percent too. If, if she commits to anything hard to punish Mario, he might just end up killing Fox. And wow! <laughs> that was cute. Everyone's dead! Yep. <laughs> Everyone on one stock besides Wizzy. This is a lot closer than it did in the start. I mean, Dark Wizzy has 83% on his second stock, and I feel like Mario can hold that for a good amount of time. Yeah, he, he could be very safe if he needs to. Mario also not the, the lightest guy, a little, little chubby on him. Yeah. Could survive some stray hits. Uh -oh. Playing their separate 1v1s. Luckily, Kool-Aid coming in to save. A little okay. bit of miscommunication there. Koga taking a lot of early damage now. He's really yeah, struggling kill, to yep. find his footing and light, getting that stock. And suddenly, green team looks like they uh, are skewed to take this game after that yeah, little. Yeah, now Lucina has 114% yeah. on her. That one instance really just brought Koga from like such a low percent all the way to 114. Fox has absolutely no problem just up smashing. Exactly. And light's definitely known to go for something like that too. <laughs> this is looking in green's favor now. Koga playing reserved on the ledge. Wants to keep that sock strong, but he needs to make something happen to make sure Wizzy doesn't surpass like 100% and get up smash as well. That was a really Fox good combo there. Fox is smash right now. Oh yeah. Like earlier but we were talking about Lucina with Rage, but she's definitely dead now. She doesn't have a jump. Yep. See if Wizzy can make the 2v1 comeback. Not like Sheik. Impossible. Yeah, Sheik is hard. <laughs> yeah. She can just be saved the whole time. Yeah. Missing their combos, and that's it for that game. I definitely brought it together at the end there. That's something you need is composure, especially in doubles. When you're getting suppressed like that. You're clearly doing a 483%. Like getting more of the kills, though. That seems to be the team comp. I don't think he's gonna switch off a of Sheik. That'd be foolish. No, I think it would be smarter of him to stay Sheik. Same with Koga staying Lucina. I don't think Marth would net them anything extra. I also haven't seen a Koga killing with a lot of F smashes. No, I haven't seen him really go for them other than on the ledge. Mm. You know. All right, game three going to Battlefield. Platform's definitely gonna help both teams. Ooh, good little team combo there, bringing Kool-Aid to 64%, but like I was saying with the stage, I could see Mario just getting a lot of up air strings. Same with Fox, the back air pressure on platforms. Sheik, maybe he's gonna have a lot easier time landing. 
She and almost just died. <laughs> also, uh, being a fat boy on Battlefield is such a great thing, like a blessing yeah. rather. So Mario's Light definitely gonna be living longer. Yeah, Light and Sheik don't have that um, that luxury at the moment. Mm. Light and Sheik, Light and Kool-Aid. kool go for an early stock, but this is exactly what we saw the last game, where Green seems kinda just getting diddled on. I don't know why he did that. Yeah, going a little too low. Like gonna lose that first stock, first blood to himself pretty much. Back out. Wow, surprisingly not killing. That's that battlefield counter pick. Yep. And, and then Kool Aid just kills himself with a grenade. Ooh, nice little combo there. Blue team still pretty comfortable with their lead. I think if Dark Wizzy got that up air string, he would have rage janked them out. I'm surprised we didn't see the down air there from the Koga. From the Koga, yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Koga smart does to pass him to Kool Aid there. Smart to save his jump. Wizzy trying to get back onto stage. Blue team kind of on the ropes at the very moment. Wizzy the first one to fight back center stage. Both of them being hit by the last set of Dancing Blade was not mm. good. Yeah, green team's percent is starting to really build quickly. They need, a, they need to take these stocks like yesterday. Definitely. We have a rage. Lucina that was so and, smart from yeah. Koga. The fully charged neutral be able to get him back there. Tried to two frame him with down smash, but a little too early. Tried to jank him out right there mm. with their footstool. <laughs> Five, yeah. But killing his partner there. That's the kind of mistakes you can afford. Not willingly, but it's not too bad. Yeah, not right now. They still have a solid lead here. I'm gonna see a reset? No. Nice little sandwich combo there. Green team showing signs of life. You know Wizzy wants that up smash. Back throw. Koga missing the follow up. That could be a crucial stock. Oh, going for it again. Oh, that that, yeah, that, okay. that might get him killed yeah, <laughs> very soon. So. And he, that, oh, no. Same thing That's happening the again. Worst feeling, I gotta tell you. Also, when you're like in this situation, especially as Fox, where you know you can't recover, you, you just gotta die faster so you can yeah. come back sooner to help your partner. Exactly. Is that gonna do it? Oh, yeah. wow. That's what I call a convenient combo. You know, your partner's already doing something and it just so happens to like knock back. You just get a free hit for it. See, there's Kool-Aid entertaining the other person. Keeping them out with needles. Everybody on one stock. Except for oh, Dark I, was, oh, actually. Definitely yeah. thought he had to jump. So now everyone's at one stock. Yeah, it's pretty much even. Once again, green team bringing it back. Working together to get these combos off. Ooh. That's pretty risky right there. Throwing them right into Fox. Mm. Koga trying to stay behind. Wizzy giving him support, but Light just coming in from the air. Uh oh, Ooh, that was silly. Over on the right side from Kool-Aid and Wizzy. Ooh, this could be a heavy combo. Drops it on the top platform, though. Oh, man, oh. that would have been Sheik's stock. Oh, is that gonna Light? do it? Wow. Not just yet. Yeah. Still living. Very close here. Yeah. They definitely need something here, both of them. They need like a throw into a kill. And uh, Wizzy getting very impatient. Throwing out that up smash a oh, lot. That up smash with for bad DI, stock. gonna go ahead and kill. Light. This Kool Aid is, is not impossible at all. Like a uh, soft nair bouncing fish definitely will kill both of these characters at the edge. Now he's off stage yeah. though. Little... Sheik also a very slippery character. Mario's up smash is very relentless. You'll be seeing that come out that more likely than not. The up air gonna kill. Wow, Kool Aid he can do this. <laughs> Oh, early up, he's not going to get right punished. There. That Boy was throw. Cute. Reading yeah. the air dodge forward air, not going to kill. Oh, yeah. Air dodge is every time. He's got to watch that, but it's going to kill him. And that's going to that's gonna lose them to 2v1. Cool, a great patience. Bringing that back. And I got to play next, so. All right. Ugh. Wish me luck. Good luck. I wish.